Hey, it's your host, Apocalypso, and this is Raidology. We're here at the legendary Mewtwo raid, and it's about to go down at 6 p.m. We have a lot of people gathering in right now, and our Discord is blowing up on the notifications because everybody's trying to figure out when and where they should meet up. We're here in Visalia, California, in Central Cali, and we have a lot of people that had the EX raid pass here in Visalia. There are a lot of people that have already prepared the type of Pokemon they need, whether it has Focus Blast, or if it's just mostly Psychic, or if it has Shadow Ball, which is a ghost move, or if it tends to have the normal move, Hyper Beam. So we hope that you stay tuned because we're about to raid Mewtwo. I'm here with Phantom Renegade. We're gonna be interviewing and I'm gonna be asking him. So, when Mewtwo spawned and you knew that he was coming out as the ultimate raid boss, what type of Pokemon do you think we should have for this raid and how did you prepare for it? Well, I, since I've been playing the games for quite some time, I've known a lot about Mewtwo already. So I discovered that his main weaknesses would be Bug, Ghost, and Dark. So I prepared by, by getting on such as Tyranitar, Gengar, and I also got my Arcanines and powered them up with Dark-type moves. So they're ready to go. I'm powered up and ready for this fight. So, Are they currently maxed to your level? Most of them are. Not all of them. I mean, Stardust is pretty scarce at times, but I'm doing the best that I can to get as much as I can. And... If Mewtwo has Focus Blast, who do you think we should use? If Mewtwo has Focus Blast, all T-Tars will probably be rendered useless, but I would say Arcanine, because Arcanine is very bulky and offensive at the same time, and it has no weakness against Mewtwo. Mewtwo cannot hit it for anything super effective. Okay, there you have it. If you're in your city and you're about to raid Mewtwo, perhaps you should power up your Arcanine and change its moveset to Dark Moves. I'm here with ENBK08. Let me ask you, when the EX Pass came out and you opened up your app, what went through your mind at that moment? I gotta tell you, it was completely unexpected. I had spent the previous weekend in Ohio, okay. raiding Rikos, and I really thought I was gonna get an EX Pass and it was gonna be for Youngstown. Uh -huh. And I'd be in California and have to sit there completely out of luck. So it actually came to me early in the morning. First thing I did when I woke up was to check my Pokemon and up pops that raid pass. I immediately texted my girlfriend and said, did you get one too? Did you get one too? Uh -huh. We both got one. We're super excited. We're feeling pretty lucky to have one because I didn't think it was going to happen so quickly. So. Nice. Now, did you know that it was going to come out at that time? Or did you feel that, it, you know, you just opened up your app just like you would regularly whenever you play Pokemon Go? I just opened it up regularly in the morning to check if my gym was still held over from the previous night. And it popped up. It started my day off with a smile for sure nice so we hope that when you open up your app the next time you'll get your ex pass and hopefully when you get to that mewtwo raid you'll catch yours how excited are you about this mewtwo raid happening within our city Oh, I'm really excited. I mean, this has been a long time getting here. Yeah. You know, we've been waiting and waiting for this Mewtwo. It's been over a year. Yes, and a lot of hard work. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys, you and your husband, have been powering up your account. You've been catching, and he's been battling, and together you guys have gotten... What level are you guys now? Oh, we're level 40. Finally made it to 40. When did you guys hit level 40? Ah, just recently. but. It was a long, hard battle, but it's been so much fun. We love it. We yeah. absolutely love it. It's definitely not easy being level 40 and how much time it takes no, uh, it's not. in order to get there. <laughs> but it's definitely rewarding. And I know that even in other big cities, being level 40 is extremely rare. Yes, it is. And it's an honor to finally make it. I mean, for him, he's worked really hard, and I'm proud of him. And I helped him, so I'm proud of myself too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But we love it, and we just hope we can catch Mewtwo. One minute left before Mewtwo spawns. Right now, this is Group Instinct, and we're going to be able to take this on because we're not close to 20, so we'll all just go in together. Mewtwo is about to pop in about 34 seconds. So everyone knows what type of mons to use. They're all res, and they're all powered up. I think that we'll be able to beat this in probably less than a minute because of the type of mons that we have and the correct ones. Let's just hope it doesn't have Focus Blast. All right, I got Tyranitars. That means we're going up against a Mewtwo that does not have Focus Blast. 15 seconds right now, okay? Does everyone have that number? Yes. Okay, 10 seconds. <laughs> That's funny. Five. We got a security guard playing. All right, guys, here we go. Five. All right, this is it. 
Oh, there's Mewtwo, 49,430 CP of raw power. <laughs> Don't dodge, just take the damage, charge up, and hit him back. Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, we're good. Yes. Thank God. Yeah, I don't, man, if he had Focus Blast, that wouldn't be good. All right, I see a lot of Tyranitars. In fact, I only see Tyranitars. That's pretty good, people. Oh, there's a in there. oh, take that out. Take that trash out of here. <laughs> he didn't last too long, did he? Well, he's a glass cannon. So yeah, he got a couple good hits in. All right, we're doing pretty good. 262 seconds. He's already halfway down. Oh, you don't want it? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, he's done. Good job, guys. Oh, he's, he's, he's going down pretty good. He's just all power. He's got yeah. no defense. He's got a lot of attack, but he doesn't have a got lot of health. Definitely not a lot of health because he's missed. He's a um, psychic Pokemon. <laughs> he's a psychic type. <laughs> he's a psychic type. Man, look at that ball. Just takes my Tyranitar's health down, man. Good job, everybody. All right, focus. 2275 is 100 IV. This is all on you oh, guys no. now. I got a fast team. All right. 2075? 2275. 22? Yes, 2275. I got 10 balls. 2248. All right, Mewtwo. 2245. Anybody close to 70? 75? I gotta get his distance down. I'm trying to figure out what he's gonna do. I gotta, when he swipes his arm, when he does that slap, that's when they do it. Shuttle ball. Oh, nice. Shuttle ball. Oh, that's good. Shuttle ball. Shuttle ball. Got it. Nice, dude. Congrats, dude. First Did you critical catch? I got it. Oh my god. I threw a ball. Oh my no god, bonus. I just got it. No bonus? I caught it. It's a 22-30, but I don't care. I caught it. Got him. Do that. Nice. Confusion and psychic. Yes! I caught him too! Nice! And he's a big one. He is a big one. 2245. Does anyone have anything bigger than 2245? You got it? Nice. Yeah, now we can go. Okay, so I want to see, I want to take into account from our team, everybody. I mean, if you're still catching it, please do catch it. I want to know how many have caught it and how many have not caught it so I can see the ratio. All right, you caught it. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, he caught it. Nine. We still have a few more people catching. Wow. We had 17 people. And nine people have caught it so far, but there are still some trainers from Team Instinct that are catching Mewtwo as we speak. It seems like the catch rate is just about where it said, 41%. It's a little bit higher than that based on how many people have caught it already and how many people have attended this specific raid for Team Instinct. We have two teams got it. over there. That's 10 from Instinct now. So, two teams of Instinct, one team of Valor, and one team of instinct so instinct valor and then two teams of mystic and that's quite a bit of people got it oh you got it too got all right that's 11. she got it 12. we have 12. 12 out of 17 people okay you guys all got it too yeah okay that's 15. 15 out of 17 people that did this raid for team instinct have caught me too that's a lot higher than we thought we still got a couple people trying so we don't even know if that ratio is a lot higher than expected i'm here with michael cisco and for this mewtwo raid how did you feel about this whole raid going down i know there was a lot of people coming in and people coming in last minute uh, it was good. I thought the raid was really good when especially here we we uh, uh, all our team leaders and stuff it, They split them up and put everybody in groups that needed to be in the right groups and everything went good in that aspect 
Okay, can you tell me more about your experience in you catching Mewtwo? Did everything go smoothly? No, I was actually having a problem. Every time I would go into the fight screen, um, it would air me out. And uh -huh. I kept trying to go in and it kept airing me out. We did it two times, I was holding up the whole group and I was getting real nervous. And finally I had to log in on my wife's phone and I got to fight it. It let me in the screen. Okay. Now, were you able to catch the Mewtwo after all that? I know that may have caused a lot, caused a lot of anxiety for you in terms of catching the Mewtwo with all that pressure, especially in the beginning trying to log in and others waiting on you. No, I had a lot of problems. I was so nervous. By the time I finally got in and my, my nerves were so wrecked that I just was having a problem. I was having a hard time throwing the ball and, and hitting it. So you were not able to get Mewtwo this time? I was not able to get Mewtwo this time. Okay, hopefully that's a different story next time. And next time we do fight Mewtwo, you'll be able to catch it. I hope so. I'm here with SF Giants guy, and I'm gonna be interviewing him about him catching his Mewtwo. So what was it like catching Mewtwo for the very first time? I probably held my breath the whole time I was trying to catch him. <laughs> Why? I hadn't been having good luck in the last week or so with a lot of the raids, so um, I was like 0 for 5 all week. Wow. So I came to this one and I only had nine balls. And uh -huh. I hit that last ball and I was just, I took a deep breath and threw the ball and I got it. Was he popping out every single time instantly? Not right away, it was hit and miss. And were you so using golden razzes and curbing every time? Golden razzes, curve. I had two excellent throws. Wow, <laughs> and still nothing on those. Now when you did catch him, was it an excellent throw or was no, it a great no, throw? No, just a great throw. Just a great throw, okay. And I know when it came out that last ball, I mean, there must have been a lot of pressure there. When did all that pressure go away? As soon as I seen him catch when he popped open and I took a deep breath and I realized how long I've been holding my breath. <laughs> yeah, probably a while there. May have been short, but it felt like forever, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's nice. I'm glad you caught your Mewtwo. This is a big event. There's a lot of people. Not everyone was able to get their Mewtwo, but we're glad that he got his. All right, we'll see you guys later on the next episode of Pokemon Go. This is Radology. Don't forget to like and subscribe.